What's up, everybody? Welcome to the after party. I got to get everything squared away. So we're going to start out right now. I'm going to be setting up some new ground rules for my channel. Not going to let anything happen like what happened last time. That's for sure. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be uh, doing this. Hey, uh, everybody. Christina, where is Natasha and her wrench? There's Natasha. Let me get on to my YouTube here so I can wrench her. Because like I said, I'm kind of new at all this. Mumbo jump. I think I can go from here. Might be easier. There it is. Mumbo jump. I think I can go. There it is. Cool, cool. So, oh, she is a mod. See, I already modded Natasha. So, Natasha, welcome to mod. Um, I told, I thought I modded you already because I was like gonna have to mod Natasha and I'm gonna have to mod Kirsty Ann uh, at moderator. Tattoos is already a moderator. Um, tattoos, I'm just gonna put you as a moderator if you don't want to be. I totally understand. You don't have to really do anything in my channel. I'm not that hard, I would believe. Anywho. Yes, so uh, I was going to say real quick, I wanted to go over some new ground rules for my channel because I'm not going to let it happen. Oh, yes, Natasha, you can more than welcome to tell people to shut the fuck up. Um, hey, Miss Portland, how are you? Um, so we're not going to allow no drama for your mama tonight. Tonight's a chill sesh. Kind of going to talk about the true crime case I'm going to plan on doing. Yes, I have one. And I'm going to make someone upset. That's for dang sure um that's for dang sure uh i'll tell you what it is we're gonna do lacey peterson and scott peterson case funny thing is i uh know someone else already did it and i think they i can't prove that they did but they did it right after i told someone what case i was gonna do and so yeah i'm gonna do uh some Scott Peterson since I live, I think an hour and a half or so away from his actual home where he, where him and his wife resided. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of notifications. Got to close all that. Um, so that's kind of what I was going to do. I've done a little bit of research so far. Um, if anyone has any kind of information towards that case, um, go ahead and shoot it my way, but it's really fishy. As you probably know, there's, there was a, if you guys don't know anything about the Scott Peterson case, um, Scott and Lacey Peterson were married in Modesto, California. They lived together. Scott Peterson was a city council member as well as working in a business. Um, I think he did tile. I want to say I could be wrong. I don't have that in my book here with me, but, uh, anyway, um, he said he went on a fishing trip and <laughs> when he came back home, wife wasn't home uh of course everyone always blames the i know that baby would be a teenager by now or gosh i don't even know how old <sighs> yeah it would have to be um but anyway so coincidentally there was a suspected robbery going on across the street that might come into play to what happened to lacey peterson um so if anyone yeah fishing he went fishing um the timeline doesn't match up you know if you go fishing in crappy weather you're not going to catch anything is good so anyway i'm going to drop the link for some of uh panel members to come on up if you want to come on up we're uh, going to keep it very clean and very friendly here I, I i will silence people i am going it is my responsibility as a channel creator to silence people what time is it on the west coast uh you want to go fishing natasha it would be fun H have you ever been fishing natasha oh my god it's so much fun so let me get the link here we're gonna go like this i think i figured out how to pin something too it's kind of cool paste it boom and there's that. Oh, wait, no, not that button. Pin. 
Ah, dang it, I deleted it. See? All new with all this mumbo jumbo. And hi, everybody. I'm glad to have you all here. Let's see. There it is. Let's see if I can do this correct without removing it. Pin message. Sweet. Now it should be pinned in chat. If you guys want to come on up, um, you can come up or not, whatever. It's up to you guys. Um, just kind of like the after party, hanging out. We could talk about testicles and all the fun stuff. I, I talk about whatever. We got Scott in the back. We'll add you. We got Kirstie Ann. We'll add you. What's up, everybody? All right, Natasha. I'm up here, so you can take care of all the go fishing people with chat balls. The chat balls. Are we, are we not allowed to talk about balls. No, I don't care what we talk about. We have fun over here. I mean, oh, you said you kept it clean, so I don't want to say balls. Oh God, no, I don't. I just, balls. as far as drama goes, um, I'm gonna try to save it for your mama. If you're not here to defend yourself, you're not gonna be able to be talking about things. So that's just the way it is. Okay. We're here for, a, we're here for fun. You know, it's kind of my new thing. Um, Cooper Scooper tour. And plus, with the late hours, people on, you know, in California, we stay up a little later than people on the East Coast. Yeah. But, uh, so, I'm just really glad that I can, you know, have a channel um, of my own and try this. Because, like I said, I tried starting a channel uh, three, four years ago. Never took off. Never took off. So, I was trying the whole vlogging thing. So, yeah, now I've made some friends and I see how to do it. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. Channels are hard. They are. And, you know, I, I made that mistake. I care. I made that mistake last time. And I, I, there's a responsibility that comes with doing this. This is not easy by any means. Um, but, you know, I'm down to have fun with people. So... We can cover a little bit of the Scott Peterson, what I have going so far, if you guys are interested. Um, just give me, is that something you guys are interested in doing? Good night, yeah. Mrs. Portland. Good night, yeah. Miss Portland. All right, well, I can cover a little bit what I have. Give me one second. We're doing true crime at one o'clock in the morning. I'm excited to hear it. Siren bed bugs here is blinking. He's blinking at us. Who's blinking at you? Siren's bed bugs is here. Blinking. Siren's bed bugs made it into my chat. Ooh, don't no, you'll yeah. infest my chat. I don't want that. that I don't blink, want itch. Blink. blink blink. No blink blinking. Good night, Miss Portland. Yes, good night, Mrs. Portland. And I'm feeling better. Sorry I didn't answer you. Well, and I'm glad you're feeling better, Christiane. I missed you and hanging out. But I'm glad you came up and actually spoke your heart out to me when I was up on Natasha's panel. Because, I, I, like I said, I got to own up to my mistakes for that. And I had no problem doing that. And whether people say it's them taking my balls or not, I am just know I'm, I can own up to my mistakes. Anyway. She knew what she was doing. She was using her... Uh, feminine charm on you. She was in my weak moments. So anyway, um, so in the Scott Peterson case, what I have so far, there are three main players. We have Scott Peterson, Lacey Peterson, Amber Frey. There was a little bit of a little mistress thing going on that the uh, FBI made her turn state witness into and got him to confess and tricked him into some things that's where i'm kind of hanky about anyway so scott peterson at eight in the morning till 9 20 he was uh, with lacy that he woke up they were hanging out uh they were watching martha stewart and he they this is in his interview that they found this out they were watching martha stewart and then between 9 20 and 9 40 scott was outside seen by his neighbor uh loading up his boat getting his boat ready uh, and getting his truck ready. Uh, 
Scott. Uh, Scott left his home to his warehouse at 940-ish, three miles from his house. So he went to his warehouse where they carry, where he has all of his supplies. He did some internet research on some things, uh, some tools for work. And then got, oh, the boat was there. So he loaded up his truck for the boat at, to go fishing at his house and loaded up the boat at the warehouse between 1030 and 1056. So the time between 940 and 1030, there's a time frame between him getting leaving his house and getting to the um, warehouse to load up his boat. He left at 1056 at 1018 back at the house. The neighbor notices the Peterson's dog. His leash was still attached, but there was no one walking him. And she returned the dog to the backyards of Peterson's house with the collar still attached. So already between the hours of Scott leaving at 940 in the morning and 1018, the dog has already been walked and gone. The um, Lacey's already gone because she took the dog for a walk. Yeah, I'm going to do Scott Peterson. Um, like I said, first true crime. So if you guys got any points, tips, or tips for me to be better, I'll always take them. Always like constructive criticism. Um, Scott has a receipt from par the parking lot at the boat dock at 12.54 p.m. So he left at 10... 56 in the morning at the warehouse and it took him roughly oh two hours to get to the parking lot and checked into the boat ramp uh at from one to two see he was only fishing for two hours that's what's one another thing that's got me kind of questioning it you're on the fit you when i go fishing i don't go fishing for one or two hours i go fishing up till the afternoon take a lunch go back out in the evening I take a whole day fishing. I mean, maybe that's just speculation, but two hours on the well, one to two, an hour or two on the water just doesn't seem right to me. All day uh, is hunting. What was that? <laughs> all day is hunting. Well, all day is hunting and, and actually, because I, when I go fishing, I have fun. It's kind of a relaxing time. I use it to meditate, you know, just kind of become, um, zen like you know mm -hmm. uh, one to two hours just doesn't seem like a fishing trip and to go what what two hours away 10 11 12 yeah go about two hours away to go fishing for only an hour it just doesn't add up mm -mm. but it could again i'm not trying to muddy the waters with my opinions now but it could in my opinion that gives them an alibi just saying it's enough to give you an alibi uh, Scott Peterson calls Lacey Peterson at 2.15, uh, home and cell phone, just as he was leaving the marina. So he does have a marked time for when he left the marina at 2.15. So, again, a guaranteed two-hour fishing trip. He leaves a message on Lacey Peterson's phones asking if she'll pick up uh, a Christmas gift for their fa uh, his father-in-law. Um and le left the message and then 4 30 plus or minus a few minutes uh scott peterson dropped off the boat at the warehouse so then you got a time frame again so 2 15 to 4 30 you're still looking at like two and a half hours so the time frame fits up for that um and then scott peterson uh stays states in the interview that he was uh when he arrived home the only thing that was unusual was the dog with the leash he assumed that lacy was at her mom's so so there there was no forced entry there was no sign of foul play it was just the dog missing so dog with without her so it was kind of interesting uh to him for him to just not worry why he has the dog has the leash so and that's kind of where his story i'm thinking was planned with someone else do i think it was the robbery next door possibly um do i think it was a setup or uh because of the mistress possibly there's a couple variations in the story mind you he did just get his sentence dropped from a death sentence to life in prison so he did just get a fat reduction in his case um and mom then he put he changes his clothes gets some pizza from the fridge and you know not really concerned i mean 
he's home for a good minute, you know, able to change his clothes, wash his clothes, but not be concerned. Like, where's Lacey? Why didn't she return my call on the cell phone? I, me, I'd be a little concerned. Maybe it's just how my relationship is, but to me, I'd be a little concerned. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> then he got dressed. Then he calls his mother-in-law, Sharon, uh, to see if she's seen Lacey. And she had not seen Lacey. So the father-in-law, or the stepfather of Lacey, the father-in-law, I guess you would say, I guess, um, ended up calling 911 and reporting Lacey missing. Wait, not he ordered porn, right? What? He ordered porn that day, too, didn't he? Uh, I haven't seen any report of that. Uh, he ordered porn. No, he, I haven't seen anything of that yet um, in my investigations. Oh, but I, I would, thought you saw him. I, somebody in the chat said it, but I do remember that they I did. thought you found porn or something on that day. Did they find porn? I would have to look that up because yeah, that is interesting. That would be interesting again. I mean, so keep in mind, after Lacey went missing, I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but he was telling his mistress who didn't know about Lacey that he was in, uh, I think, Paris or France or some somewhere in that area. And Paris. What, Paris. Paris? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so he's lying to his mistress saying, oh, I'm over in Paris when he's really in Modesto looking, quote unquote, looking for his wife. So again, I'm seeing a disconnection and a disassociation from his wife prior. I mean, this is built up. This isn't just since she went missing and he built this relationship with uh, uh, his mistress. Uh, what's her name? Crap. I had it. I had it down there and then I had to move my page. But uh, his mistress. So there's a lot of ins and outs to this case. Like I said, I've only done so much research so far. I haven't had a day off, a day at work to do anything like that. But uh, I'm planning Amber on doing Fry. more. What was that? Amber, Amber Fry. Fry. Yes, Amber Fry was the mistress. And um, so that's kind of what I got so far. I do want to – I started watching his interview. And his interview, he seemed really like, again, disconnected, nervous, a lot of jittery. Um, a lot of things that just don't add up. And then also when he was searching for his wife, um, in the, like what the camp, I guess the main camp where everyone was meeting up and waiting for phone calls, he was actually celebrating cause they were bringing him food from the community. And he told one of the detectives, Oh, look at this meaty rib. I got holding it up in the air, like bragging. Oh. So he, this is while they're looking for her before they even found her body in the uh, ocean, conveniently where he was fishing. Um, yeah. Oh, are you modded on that channel, Natasha? No, I don't see a wrench. I'll modder on that channel. No one's going to mess with you when they see Cooper in the chat. Oh, they ain't going to mess around. And, and I'm a, and tattoos. And tattoos is in here going to give him a left to a left left hook. Uh, but uh, yeah, and I, again, I wanted to apologize to all my Jeez. members for allowing that to happen. Uh, I shouldn't have. I should have been more prepared and understanding. And I appreciate you guys for understanding my mistakes and shortcomings. Um, I can just move on from here. And <laughs> yes, roundhouse kick. Oh, this is cool. I'm really enjoying this. So. How's everybody? I'm going to not get too much more in the case because I got to do more and I don't want to seem like I don't know what I'm talking about because I haven't got it all pieced together how I want to do it. But uh, I do appreciate you listening to that first little preview. I can't wait till. Yes, you're the muscle, Natasha. You said you wanted to be for once. You wanted to be one. I can't wait till you um, do the new stuff because I'm pretty adept on all the old stuff, but not. I haven't caught up with anything that's happening now. So I'm excited about that. What do you mean? Like the new, the new, isn't he getting, didn't he have another trial or another? Oh, 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 or? oh, about Scott Peterson. Yeah. Um, he had a new uh, hearing and it went to, um, 
they reduced his sentence from a death sentence to life in prison. And oh, that's it. He doesn't have any. I thought he had something else coming up. Is that mm-hmm. it? That was all. Was all that's, it was. That's all the new stuff that I'm aware of. Oh. There's. Okay. Just, For some reason, I thought he was granted another mistrial or something. Well, I must be losing it. Well, no, he got uh, the parole board. Went up front of the parole board, and um, yeah, they reduced his sentence, which honestly is kind of sad. I mean, he's involved, however you cut it. In my opinion, I think he's involved, however you cut it. Um, but it was coincidental that there is a burglary across the street. So I kind of wanted to look into that theory. And like I said, actually go down to his old residence, his and her old residence, which I think is owned by the Rokas. Oh, which that is... would be cool if you did that on a video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. And I also kind of want to uh, go next door or across the street where it was getting robbed and kind of see... Yeah. What? Who's there? People would be interested in seeing the sites. Yeah, mm-hmm. see a couple people in chat said he has a habeas hearing in February. He has a habeas hearing in February. Well, that'd be interesting to cover. Um, like I said, wrench winch. <laughs> wrench winch. I, I love, love it. it. Natasha, oh, why do you have to switch channels? Did something happen? Yeah, I hope nothing happened to her other channel. Um, okay, Baxter got the scoop. She said the reduced sentence was the old stuff. There's there was a juror who lied, which is why it's being looked at now, and probably a new, that's what I was. That's it. That's what ah, I okay. So yeah, I didn't know about that. I just knew about the reduced sentence. So there you go. This is a case that'll keep on giving. See, that's what I'm saying. Well, there's a juror, and I think there's also a um, state witness issue. I think they were starting to look at Amber Fry. Really? I I don't know. I think so. I think I've heard that. But I could be wrong. Shit, well, I like her. Well, I think she I think I think she's involved more than you think. I think mm-hmm. be, oh. No, I have a premium. Oh, okay. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried about your channel. God. Um yeah, so was I. <laughs> So, yeah, there's 67 people in here. If you want to give it a thumbs up, thumbs yeah. down for the after party. Much appreciated. I will ask for that. Um, but anyway, if anyone else wants to jump on up, feel free. Is it pinned? I hope so. Um, so why are you – so, Christiane, uh-huh. are you, you said you were in uh, the government, right? Yep. So you know about, like, you know, trials and – Stuff like that. If you get called as a state or a no, uh, I wasn't in the government in that sense. I was. I worked in Congress for a congressman. Oh, so, but I you know about in like the House people, of representatives, right? But you, so if people are come to testify in front of Congress, I guess that's the word I was looking for. You know a little bit about that, right? Like yeah. So yes, I did want to touch on one thing. What I did on that panel was kind of. Because they say, oh, you were grilled. Well, yeah, because what I did, people had questions about. And I have a, I owe it to the community to talk about it. So that's what I, why I did what I did. Um, and because I owed it to everybody. Wait, you, met, you're talking about, you're, wait, you're jumping around. So you're talking about Granny? Yeah, I was talking about that. Oh, issue. no. Right. I understand that. What? I guess Who I wasn't clear the... that night. What I what I got upset about was, and I wasn't upset. I, I don't know what word I'm using to use. It wasn't upset, but I guess what made me uncomfortable was you had a cu- bunch of opportunities to to where you would ask a question and she would say, "Well, we don't do this, and we don't do this, and we did this," and Natasha lied about this and you didn't give it back to her with the facts you know what i'm saying Uh uh-huh so that's where i was like shit you lost that opportunity you could have said this this and this but you know hindsight is 2020 it's whatever yeah and then at the end when you said you appreciated her coming up that bothered me do we know you you were just being polite so it's all good so i have someone in the back i don't know who it is i sent Mm -mm. so what should Shall we water do? Under the bridge. 
Brooklyn, and you know it's all done and over with. So the name, the screen name for who's in the back, I can say this is Jax. You need a law, and I can't see the rest. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should let them up. Or should we not? Make them show that. Do face. what Natasha does and put the screen over them. Can't either. Oh, or just I make them show their face. That? Yeah, I think I can do this. No, I got to figure that out. Okay, I'll just I'll put them up with me up. Yeah. Oh. Wait. She, I'm she's seeing. saying no. Ooh. Yeah. Just, no. Sorry. Oh. I accidentally. Uh -oh. Make sure they're not showing nothing. Remove. Yeah. Sorry. Don't. I sent. So I sent Natasha a message. That's so I hope she got the message and that was her replying to it because it said who it was. And oh, I wasn't. Gonna... Who it was. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know the name. I'm not. See, they came back. Yeah. Well, see, I. I don't want to dox anybody. Yeah. So we're gonna go like this. Bye bye. Oh. Oh yeah. Require all guests to log in. Got it. Boom. Now I have to make everyone authenticate. Yes, that's what I'm trying. That's what I was trying to say. Authenticate. Yes, so I yes, so I am not gonna let them up. They are denied because we're not doing that <laughs> here right now. I ain't going through that bullshit. And we don't want to see any peens. I I mean sometimes they happen. Oh, oh, yeah. she told me who it was now. Oh, I don't know. Message uh, me. I only have your Facebook. Oh, for the love of Pete. Here, I'll put my number in private chat. Can you? Mm -hmm. You might as well have it. Half the world has it now. <laughs> Where's private chat? I don't even see. I don't know how to do all this. This is all new. I don't know what your host screen looks like, <laughs> but when you're in StreamYard, you have a section that says comments, oh. and there's a tab that says private chat next to it. You oh, there it is. Chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it's not doxing if I don't make it public. All right. Any hooster diddles. So, yeah, Scott, what about you? What did you, uh, I see you like squirrels. <laughs> Are you just nuts? Yes. Or is it just me? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I just want to know. I, I love your outburst, so I may as well you know, try to be in harmony with them. <laughs> I just want to know. Because I had I had a squirrel incident once in my life. That so I, I hear you like squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, He's Scott. Trying to befriend I... them. <laughs> well, I have an issue with squirrels. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> why? <laughs> God, you're trying to be so that's like Natasha saying they defecated instead of shitting. And yeah. you're like, oh, Scott, I hear you like squirrels. That's a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> we really are like gardening, they just kind of came with it. Oh, so you garden, that's cool. Well, because my issue with squirrels is I live in you guys, okay, I live in Northern California, I live in the woods. I, I, you guys, I don't know where you live, Scott, but Christiane, you live down in the uh, urban jungle. Yes. We got some squirrels up here. Squirrels. But we got squirrels up here that throw shit at you. <laughs> I mean, I've once to try to drop pine cones down on you. Like, Absolutely. What do so, you mean they throw shit at you? Like acorns? They'll go through, defecating they'll squirrels, go through like, the pine trees and drop the pine cones. So hating squirrels. Oh, you just hear shit crashing down all around you. <laughs> like shit sickles everywhere. So I was one time I was like six years old and I was trying to go outside to go play in the yard and I you know, whatever kids do, play in mud or whatever. And I walked outside and this squirrel that was in this high up in this freaking tree, pine tree, took like a pine cone. Mm -hmm. And shucked it right at my forehead. Are you and kidding? Oh yeah. 
No, I mean, they're, oh no, they're feisty. They think they think they're Donkey Kong. <laughs> so every time, so I, I was like, I was a kid. I cried. I screamed. Ah, squirrels attacking me. Whatever. Five minutes later, I go about back outside. He got another pine cone or whatever, and through that, every time I went out that front door, you should have videoed it. Oh, I was. That went super sticks. viral. It happens all the time up here, though. You need to freaking... I never heard of such violent squirrels. You need yeah, to get that on video. Uh, there's, I call them psycho squirrels, but yes. They literally it, throw pine cones at people. Mm-hmm. And we have what an 80-foot pine tree in the yard. They throw them at Snow Lion, too. See Snow Lion, you get it, too? Yeah, they just drop them. No, this thing was hucking them at... Well, I guess he... Th- Lightly throwing them at me. I was going to say they don't have long arms to huck something. No, they just drop it. Well, they do sometimes just drop it over on so your head. So they position themselves high over top of you and just drop so that they're mm-hmm. over top and drop mm-hmm. it down? Absolutely. Much. So it's planned? It's premeditated? I don't know. So squirrels outnumber humans quite a lot. Yeah, that's the other reason I'm being nice to them. Um, if they all decided to like revolt up, we're all screwed. The Snow Lion said they're a little bastard. <laughs> See, Snow Lion, they don't wreck my garden at all. Poor Scott, you know that he's pro squirrel up here, and everybody's stuck in the basket. <laughs> but this is what I'm getting at. I <laughs> think you put Scott's on to squirrel food, they leave your garden alone. I think Scott's on to something. If like, you make a not corn my mo- garden at all. If you make a corn mobile, yeah, and give give them, that spins them around and gives them a little bit of a challenge, I think we he might be on to something. So or just build a whole obstacle course. Hey, a, a squirrel obstacle course outside their house. That's my next plan. Have you not seen the YouTube videos of people doing that? Oh no, I've been watching. Yeah, I already have like the rope ladders and everything. So, cool. so you're saying they're just bored? That's my thing. I think they just want they're us squirreling. to squirreling. If they don't have, yeah. if you don't put food out where they can readily get to it, they'll, they will start digging for it. So if you just have a, a squirrel feeder out, they're fine. Um, oh my god, I can't believe we're having a conversation about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Yeah. I got a video what? to show you. I have two mockingbirds. I, I can't stand. And oh. I have a possum that visits me. I got a video for us. Yes. Yes, yeah, Stacy. I already have a. Like Ferris wheel thing where with corn cobs on it, and they climb to the top, and the whole thing just spins on them. Okay, so let me see if I can get this to work here. It's my entertainment. Let's see it. Chili bears so. that they hiss and they spit and they chase you to their cars. Mm-hmm. Mine are, mine are and cool. They they know, over you. Mine are cool. They know where their food comes from. Wow. That's what I'm saying. I think you are onto something, Scott. Like they'll let me get really close to them, and they don't react at all now. Is that oh showing? Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a ran over a squirrel, Scott, and his eyeballs popped out. Okay, there's that. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Watch what yeah, the I mean, stuff they the one I saw, yeah. can do. <laughs> my attempt at making a squirrel. If they want the bird seed, they will first need to pass through what is basically an eight-part ninja warrior obstacle course for squirrels. This course is extremely challenging. It is not for the timid of heart. But out of the gate, I will admit that in hindsight, that I completely underestimated my adversary. Now, if you're wondering why I would go through all this trouble, we need to go back eight weeks ago when I found myself stuck at home and very bored. So I installed a bird feeder and decided to become a bird watcher. Like... And it was just so lovely. Until they showed up. Now luckily my bird feeder had a wire cage around it big enough uh... for the birds to slip inside, but small enough to prevent the squirrels from getting the food. And that worked really well until... For me, this was like the moment in Jurassic Park when they realized the Velociraptors can open door handles. And once the door was open, it was clear this wasn't. My internet looks like it's pretty crap tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I have one like that. 
I want to see if we can get in. There's a squirrel joke. Andrea said, why do neuter dogs always chase squirrels? Because they're trying to get their nuts back. Mm -hmm. Why? Are you... Yeah, Why is that not loading? I call him Bat Squirrel because he actually regularly will hang from his hind feet while he's eating. All right, so that's not working well. So forget that. So Scott, that tell us a funny story about your squirrels. I know you got a squirrel. About my what? Yeah, man. Your squirrel. Tell us a funny story about your squirrels. Natasha's Good night, Natasha. Thank you talk. for modding. She don't want to talk about squirrels. Good night, wench, wench. She don't want to talk about squirrel shit. No. <laughs> wrench, you wrench. Good night, wench, wench. No, I, I just, wrench, I just wrench. beat them and put up little obstacles for them. And it's pretty funny to watch. <laughs> That's I fun. My, yeah, one I, like that I said, I hang from its back feet. <laughs> like I said, me and squirrels do not get along. Not at all. I didn't know they could be so damn mean. I thought they were just harmless little... I don't know if it's mean or if it's been <laughs> I haven't decided with them yet. yet. They might just be mysterious. Uh, I I like rats more, to be honest. Night, Natasha. Like, I, to be honest, I, I used to work at a pet store too. I've worked at a lot of places, <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, I, I honestly <laughs> like the pet rats. Rats are cool. They. I knew this one chick who used to take her big old, like this thing was huge, like sewer rat size around town with her. Let me see. And yeah, big fan of rats. I like, I like rats. They're smart. So do you have any pets, Christiane and Scott? I have a, I have a hmm. three legged dog and I have. Oh yeah, your a, dog. A 5,000 year old cat that has missing teeth. <laughs> uh -huh. And that's it. And a possum that comes and visits me. <laughs> no, I don't have bed bugs. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not part of the uh, bed bug crew. Well, we we chill with the bed bugs, but they stay far, far away from us. Sirens, bed bugs. Could you imagine if you live like Unsolved Mysteries lives in Australia? And all the animals that live there are like lethal big yeah uh forget that For, i couldn't no. do it yeah the spiders mm -hmm. there nope spiders, Every... the spiders they're the size of what are those called those big ass camel spiders mm -hmm. yeah those they're, yeah. yeah they're the biggest somebody's face and then they got crocodiles and they got snakes that are way too big and what other deadly things live out there well, here's a funny thing. Let's devils. name what's not deadly out there. I mean, kangaroos are deadly, so they're off the list. Koalas they, are mean. Koalas yeah, are mean, they, yes. They carry rabies. Yep. Is she in chat? When I went to... Ooh. Yeah, she's in chat. When I went to um, Australia, the thing that fascinated me was there were bats hanging on all the telephone wires everywhere. Everywhere. There were bats. Big, huge fruit bats what they were just hanging they then, oh no 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 yeah no. in the daytime <laughs> they were just hanging there and then um what was cool though is they had wild cockatoos which was amazing good night ocean otter good night oh, ocean the otter. Birds. Uh, Horsemen well spiders that's what i was looking for so yeah. i've thought of two birds that actually are not well of course birds i mean they're not harmful that are from Australia that won't hurt you. But that's about it. Uh, cockatiels and lorikeets. Rainbow lorikeets. Mm -hmm. So that's about all I can think of that I'd want to go to Australia to see are those two birds. I mean, we own... Um, me and my girlfriend own two cockatiels and a rainbow lorikeet. So we have a thing for Australian birds. Oh, well, that's cool. My dad had a um, African gray parrot, and that's one of those. That thing was mischievous. It could talk in the same. It sounded just like my dad, so it would yell at me <laughs> in my dad's voice to taunt me. It was it was so smart. But there, my dad 
said he was very hard to take care of. So he ended up having them. And Their then, attention star. So they are, but they're beautiful birds. If they you pick up stuff right? really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like if you let your know. tongue slip twice, they've already got it. And the problem with prison stories, London Times, is I got to be real careful on what I say because there is a confidentiality thing. So I got to think about stories to say. I mean, I told you all about the uh, 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 incident with denture glue and the penis. So I can't really talk about that one. Um, I've talked... <laughs> The testicles, I mean, the stuff that prisoners do with their genitals. Because I worked in a male prison. Um, and I would assume the female prison is a lot more chill. But uh, males are pretty vicious to themselves. Um, I had one guy take a shank and cut his genitals open. Because he wanted to be a female. And he thought, well, then if the state won't afford it they can make it so they get amputated and then the state has to take care of them. <laughs> um, they have a lot of weird ideas for that. But uh, as far as that, I got to kind of be careful. Like, how do they get drugs in? Oh, mm. well, well, there's a lot not. of, <laughs> they call it the suitcase, the prison suitcase. <laughs> Stick it right. <laughs> mm -hmm. They stick it where the sun don't shine. Suppository. And so when we get a new uh, inmate, we do intake and we make them strip. We check for lice. We check for any kind bed of bugs. bed bugs, any type of infestation that can now uh, infest our prison, which <laughs> it's probably already infested anyway, but we try to limit the yeah. infestation. And so... When we get them through with processing, uh, we get them into the shower room. They get, they're completely naked and um, have them grab their ankles. And this is so demeaning for both the prisoner and the guard. But we ask them to spread their cheeks and cough. Coughing, cough. Exactly, Andrea. Cough, cough. What happens is the cough, cough pushes whatever prairie dogs it right out. And then if you say, hey, I see that, and if they go, what do you see? Well, then you have to show them. If they say, I ain't got nothing, and then you have to say, well, stay there. Let me grab this then. And out comes the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is very demeaning for the prisoners and the pr guards because I'll tell you what. Having to grab something out of someone's rear end is pretty gross also having stuff grabbed out of your rear end is pretty gross but then again i gotta think they put it there yeah you put it there I mean, <laughs> so it's kind of on them so then i, I think, what did you expect was gonna happen <laughs> do i feel bad for them or do i feel bad for me it's a really hard thing and i gotta be real careful because you can't even so even though they're walking around naked and in the shower where, you know, we see them, we cannot look at them. Like if we are considered looking at them improper, we can get a charge. Um, they have rights as prisoners, whether you guys, people like it or not. Um, they are still people and they do have some rights. We're not allowed to like stare at them unless we have a reason. Um, and it has happened hundreds of times where guards will be accused of looking, but they were just trying to do their job and got in trouble. The prisoners use that as a leverage. Hey, CJ, I thought you were going to bed. Hmm. Um, but yeah, and as far as women go, I have no idea how they do it. Like, I never dealt with women inmates. Uh, I will never. Guys don't do that. Uh, county lockup. I do know they have a female guard get that for them. Uh, but, but yeah, I never. Uh, I would imagine it's the same thing, just a different spot, if you will. <laughs> or both. Oh, or both spots, yeah. 
But I think it's easier for them to hide it in their coochie. But uh, yeah. yeah. So prison stories. I've been, I can tell you I've been looked at and had a man touch himself. That's kind of awkward, but can't do anything about it. But tell him, put that shit away. And then they can get a charge. If they can get a charge for assault, sexual assault. Uh, but then you, you realize you do that, you're causing problems with... So, it's a big balance game being an in uh, prison guard. Because as much as you have to uphold the law and make sure they're upholding the law, if you become that dick secure or uh, dick prison guard, it's, it's going to get out there. And you got to really pick your battles. Yes, Trixie, I worked in a prison what, two years ago for about a year and a half? Um, yeah, it was just a job. Got licensed. And then after that, I got my security uh, license, and I figured that was better because then I don't have to be called so many names on a daily basis. <laughs> <clears throat> Which prison was it? Uh, that I can't say. I, I don't oh. want to give too much out. Um, because I don't want phone calls to be made and on public. I mean, I can message you privately and stuff, but I'm just because you lived up there too, so I'm wondering if it's uh the one up uh, there. <laughs> um, let me see. I can put it in private. It's a famous one. I will say that. I can say that. Just don't say it. But. Oh. oh. Hmm. Yeah. So there. Not what I was thinking. <laughs> yes. It's not that far. Um, it paid well. I loved the job. And. I, yeah. Like I said. I. I just don't want with the trolls that are out there. If I say. And then they say I did something that I didn't. There has to be an investigation. And I don't want to get pulled back into that drama. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of the um, union. I don't need all that shit. You know which one I was thinking, right? No, I don't. You can to say that. Because I Pelican. can tell you which one it wasn't. I can Pelican. tell you if I wasn't. Oh, Pelican? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Alcatraz. <laughs> yeah. I was a tour guard on Alcatraz. That's what I was. I was a tour guard, tour guide. No. Um, um, how far is Alcatraz from where I worked? Oh, I guess pretty far. It's uh, SF, so yeah. That's in San Francisco, right? Yeah, San Fran. Actually, that's, I was going to say, I want to go there. I've never been there. I've drove you know, across the Golden Gate and seen it, but I, they give <laughs> tours. I would hell of love to go. My whole life, and I've never been there. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't they say the water is a shark infested? Mm, no, it's just cold. It's written. Uh, the biggest thing the prisoners, yeah, was the cold. And the currents oh. there are, are crazy. And they never found the what two or three people that escaped. Yeah. Like they. Nope. Well, that's interesting. So the uh, tide goes in and out there so hard that it, yeah. Like I'm, I wonder if they washed away. To be fair. Yeah. What? Eaten by a shark. what? Nobody quite knows. By a shark. They got eaten by a shark. That's possible. I mean, it is right there on the bay, but I don't know. You don't see a lot of sharks like great whites though that would actually mm -mm. go for a human. Well, they, they mistake them for seals is what the whole yeah. thing is. You have little sharks. <laughs> I think I just remember that I was reading about escapes from there and they said that they didn't get eaten by sharks. I don't know. I just Andrea, there's a really cool movie called, called Alcatraz. Chili Bear? Oh my god, that, yeah. Yeah, that, that that's happened. Thankfully, it never happened to anyone I knew or worked with. Um, Wait, what? 
Well, I should probably, she put two. So the Who's doctor, the, the head doctor of a men's prison offered me a job working for him. No, thank you. The year before he asked him, he asked, major prison riot, multiple guards killed, and a friend of mine who had worked there. Oh, my. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I worried about, but, I mean, that's what every prison, prison guard worries about is happening. But I had a I had a thing. I'm, I try to be fair but firm. You know, I made friends with... Well, not friends. I made people who I would trust if yeah. shit ever went down yeah. as far as like prisoners yeah. you know you don't ever want to make an enemy but <laughs> my job all I did was make enemies but I was very fair that's what I like to say I, I would try to realize that they were human and they made a mistake that they're now paying for so you weren't paying any yeah, I worked in a state prison. Okay. I didn't work in a county facility. Okay. Most of the county. county. Most of the county facilities are run by the sheriff's department, and yeah. I county. So when you talk about county funding and city funding and state funding and federal funding, federal funding never ends. State funding can get cut limited and budget and it's a mess so when i went for a, i figured federal for the pay for the the union you know i don't necessarily believe in the federal prison system even as a guard i didn't so i didn't believe because they have the reform you know we're reforming them Yes. no we're not we're really not we're we're setting prisoners up for failure we really are you know they're human beings that are treated like dollar signs um and they're treated as such uh i've seen prisoners i couldn't uh, let me just put it this way there's things that i've seen in prison that i would not be able to handle myself i just couldn't there's just no way. I don't know how half of them do. Well, after years of being in the system, I guess I can understand. But a lot of the people in there are repeat offenders. I guess it's federal, so of course. But, uh, you know, you would still hope, because they, if they have an outdate, that you would hope that they would change. But it's hard to change when you beat people up like they do. I mean, locking people in dog cages i will literally call them dog cages are you kidding me right now what are you going to change by doing that that's just going to instill more violence and anger in them mm -hmm. you know um it does no good but then on the other hand you know you don't want to treat them with a soft glove i just think there's a fair middle for there's going to be those kind that you just can't reform and then there's going to be those kind that you push that can't be right, reformed. Jennifer. Yeah. Good night, Jennifer. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, life sentence. I mean, yeah, that's what it should be mainly utilized for. The reason I wanted to work in a prison was I wanted to help people. The money was nice, and I wanted to help people. I feel that was a good way for me to be able to help people and help them with their life. But the amount of people that are just so broken into the system, especially federal, uh, it's impossible. They're so, it, it's just their mindset now. There's a couple people that you see that could be different, but they're jewels, man. They're so rare. So do you feel that way with, does it, does it depend on the crime? Or do it's you feel what? that way in general? Do, does it depend on the crime of the prisoner where you feel that they can be reformed and should be? I, does it, the matter? severity. The severity really yeah. counts. Like, you know, the guy who killed somebody and got manslaughter because he was, you know, driving drunk and just a bad night. 
Do I think he can be reformed? Absolutely. Do I think the mass, the the serial killer who killed six, seven people, do you think he can be reformed? No, there's no yeah. hope. It really depends on the individual. Um, you know, um, Chomosh, <laughs> Chomosh, that's one thing that I agree with that I never really showed compassion or care to. And that's just a personal thing. And you see it in every guard and every prisoner, but they get treated special. Um, they're not housed with. Yeah. I, I those people I have a special disdain for, and I got a story about that too. Oh boy. My buddy, I went and had a roommate with, he went and did that. He didn't end up in my prison, thankfully, but, um, he went to prison for that. And man alive, that was hard to have a friend do that because now I have to like not talk to that person. You know what? I missed it. Uh, he was a chomo. What's a chomo? You don't know what a chomo is? No. A pedo? Oh, that's another word for it. I didn't know that. Ch I, I, I don't want to say. I, I see it. Yeah, I see what it. I can. I see the words mixed yeah. together. Yeah. I just can't. I don't want to say that in stream. I right. can see that getting flagged right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I never, I never heard it. So there was, yeah, that was hard. Um, losing a friend like that. But I, he's out now, which really pisses me off that they get released. Even as someone who's seen the inside, I can't believe they get released. Those people need a special little island to live on by themselves. I agree. Anyone who could do anything to a child is just, ugh. Yes. Well, shucks. You don't work tonight, Christiane? No, I'm off for my COVID. Until oh, that's right. What? Oh, jeez, I said the word. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm off until Monday. The crud. <laughs> um, so crazy we can't say that word. I well, you know how the, the the way the world is now, people are just crazy. Yeah. Jilly Bear, you're not a mod. Oh yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> I was like, you're a mod. Um, but, uh, so, oh, so are you getting paid? Does your, I, can I ask? I mean, I don't want to. Oh, yeah, it's a state law. You, no, because that ended. Well, no, California didn't. Yeah, it did. They changed it to 10 days or five days, but I got 10 days with the way the weekends fell. Wait, so, wow. Okay. I thought that ended because I was pretty sure that ended. Uh-uh. No. Which, at least just less at the time. Well, that's good. Because it's I, based yeah. on the CDC guideline now. So I believe the don't quote me, but I believe the quarantine time now is five days instead of ten. Yeah, it's five. The airlines got them to uh, shorten it. But if you're a healthcare worker, you can work and be infected. Excuse me. Yeah. We're. I don't know if this stream's now going to get flagged. <laughs> Oops, we're talking about the it's, it's, so, it's all over the place at this point. I mean, I there mean, was a chance I, to take care of it the right way in the beginning, and it didn't happen. So you know, I'm just yeah. sorry you got it, Christiane, because uh, it's. I can't believe it happened to me to be honest with you because my daughter had it months ago, the first variant, uh -huh. and. Literally, my daughter is up my butt, like next to me, eats off my plate, you know. Right. And I kept going back to get tested, and they kept telling me I was negative, I was negative, and I didn't believe that I was. You know, I just thought maybe that it just didn't show yet. And by the sixth time I went, they told me to stop coming in, that some people just don't get it. So I'm like, well, that makes a lot of sense because the proximity that I'm always in with her, 
and the amount of times like I help her with her hair and you know everything in close contact I should have and um I didn't but then this time she came home and was was sick with a bad cold which we know what it ended up being and I got mm -hmm. it right away Ooh. so and it was a doozy uh, I, it knocked me on my ass was this the first time you've gotten it yeah like I said, I should have had it before because of my daughter having it before. Yeah, Baxter, that's probably what it was. But even so, like, she was always right next to me. The we were even blowing up balloons together the one night because she had a – she had, was getting ready to air on um, that TV show, The Game of, Thro Game of Talents on Fox. And wow. we were having a viewing party for her. And I'll never forget it. We were blowing up balloons the night before because I had made all these big blue, balloon ornaments. And she couldn't get them blown up right. You know how kids are. They never blow the balloons up right. Okay. So she would have her mouth on it, and then I would take it from her. So I literally swapped it with my daughter pretty much, and she had it, and I still didn't get it. <laughs> That's why I kept going back and telling the doctor, now you got to test me again. Cause I, because of that and I never got it, but then this time I got it right away and I was vaccinated Ooh. and boosted. That's probably why you didn't get it. Well, you got it bad. I was but, vaccinated the first time, but now I am and I got it. Man. Well, they say this new variant, the O variant, we'll call it. Um, it, uh, protects you against the common cold. And the D variant. Oh, it so, does? Uh-huh. And it gives you better immunity against the crud. All right. Well, that's good. But I'll tell you what. I, I was literally sick <laughs> for nine straight days. Like, and seven of them, I couldn't get out of bed. Oh. Well, I'm glad you made it through it. I just know, you know, Spanish flu was a lot worse. We barely oh, yeah. had any medical technology. There was no vaccines at the time. And it went away a lot faster than this. London says you need an Amazon balloon inflator, Christian. I saw those. Oh, no. Andrea, you lost your hair from it? Oh, I'm so sorry. We got to be careful. She's saying she doesn't want us to get spanked. Yeah, we're not. Don't say word. Don't say that word. About the one a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but, Andrea. I'm a but, historian. Uh, it's my job. I never, I never gotten it. Like but, I haven't gotten the crud. I haven't gotten it, and I've been in some pretty <laughs> contagious areas. So, and I, I'm vaxxed now. Yeah. But. I mean, I was too. I was, I continued because they, they laid my husband off when everything, when the shit hit the fan, when they started laying everybody off. And then it's. Did he get COVID? Oh, no, 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 he didn't get it. The, he did this time, but not the first time. So none of us did except her. And. So I continued to work before I got it this time. You know what I mean? Because he was laid off. So I was working like 70 hours a week just to hold it down because um, we would have been homeless if I didn't. And I was in some sticky situations where everybody around me was getting it and I still didn't get it. So it's something with this variant that my body just got. Yeah, Ooh, and I, and I got hit hard. Like she was, she was sick for maybe three or four days, and I, like I said, I was. It was. A, I'm still not a hundred percent. I'm still congested, and I get tired fast. It's got a bad bronchial kick to it, from what I understand. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just hope no one else gets it in our community, because you know. We all, it seems like it went through our community at like once. There was like what? Well, the last of couple us. of weeks, it's pretty much been on yeah, attack. Aaron. Or oh, the community. 
see uh, what comment are you trying to delete jilly bear i i gotta go up and find it if i can i won't be able to find it because i'll have to go through my phone i can't delete it on Streamyard. i have to watch where it was at no no it's everywhere here too it's <laughs> aaron i'm sorry i hope you guys get better soon like I heard Sonoma uh, County is actually considering a voluntary lockdown. Oof. More fun stuff. I don't oh. want any more. It, <laughs> cases in my area are pretty low. Well, they already yeah, it didn't go office. north very well. Like yeah, it didn't really it did. hit Eureka either. Yeah. See, you're like, Christiane, you're like in the epicenter of California. Oh, we had it the worst here. Well, I'm proud of Los Angeles because as, for as high as our population is, we've done pretty well with our numbers considering, right? We're not, right. we weren't the worst. And I mean, you know this, we still weren't allowed to take our masks off. We never got to ever take our masks off. It's still enforced, can't go anywhere without it. And it never mm -hmm. stopped. They never lifted it. So In LA? Yeah. So... See up here a lot of my places don't even care like i can walk in yeah. half the place well in no orange county yeah like if i go to laguna beach or wherever you don't uh -huh. need it but in la county you can, you'll get fine you'll get straight up fine i had my mask under my nose at the mall because it was just slipping down and my hands were full and the security guard came up to me and yelled at me to put it up over my nose so they're really strict at least where I'm at, and they just shut my daughter's school down again for another week. Oh. Yeah, it's going crazy. Again. Is it on online learning now for her? Well, they say for at least the week, but if they shut her down completely, no way. Yeah, for the week. It's been two weeks, so I'm afraid they're going to do it completely now because now this will be the second week. L.A. County's been pretty January. tough on their rules. But Bella went through a still massive like a good depression. five months though, so maybe not. But she, when they shut school down last year, she went through a massive depression, and a lot of kids did. Well, yeah, and I'm doing it for more than life. two months this time. Right. If they do that again, I'm moving her out of the school and putting her into a charter school because I, it's not mentally healthy for her. Well, all. any kid, it's not. I mean, no. if you think about it, because that's what that's what they do to socialize. They go to school as much as they hate it. That's where they see their friends. <laughs> <laughs> right and well, the whole place and not only was the school shut down the whole place was on lockdown you couldn't go anywhere you couldn't go to the mall you couldn't go to the restaurants yeah. you couldn't go to parks mm -mm. it was hard to go to the beach you know so she went through a massive depression it was bad didn't they shut down production on a bunch of stuff too yeah she stopped filming she couldn't even perform anywhere she stopped mm -hmm. doing live performances they shut her training center down. So she literally had nothing but the house. And at first, you know, kids think it's fine. Oh, we get to be off school. But after three weeks, she just went on a downward mental spiral. And I can't allow that to happen again. So I will definitely move her out into a charter school where they're not shut down. Is she feeling better? Yeah. Good. Is she getting any long-term effects from COVID? From crowd? Well, the first one, it Dear. took a while to feel 100%. Like when she would go to training, she would come home and be really upset that her body, she's the same way because she's a kid. So she doesn't know like exactly how to describe things. But she would just say, my body feels weak. I can't finish what I'm doing. And I know that was after effects, but she's been a lot better in the past six months. But then she got this new variant and she was over in a breeze like i said just a couple of days and i it knocked me on my ass so she's not really f not going to have any long-term side effects that i've seen well good because yeah i don't want your she's got a lot of skill and i don't want that to take her down yeah but i will i will put her in a charter school that i'll make sure it's one that tests and you know, that's the right, that. right. Yeah. There's a right way to do schooling yeah. where it doesn't affect them as much. Right. 
But uh, yeah. I'm s- anyway, what is it? Two o'clock in the morning. You guys are probably getting tired now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I, well, oh. I do long nights. I got to get ready for work tomorrow night anyway. So um, it was nice having everybody. I am going to do this again. Okay. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to have to get my Scott Peterson case all wrapped up. That's going to be about a week or so worth of work, and then we'll start doing that. And if you want to be here to listen, Christiane, do I have you as a mod, Christiane? You should. Oh, you, yeah, you do. I'll always be here. Just let me know. Oh, London Times. Yeah, I should look into that. And it, of course, yeah. yeah, I mean, definitely keep your kid in school. Yeah, but. it was the worst thing I could have done was let her not... Because there were some schools that did stay up, but they were like private schools, and I should have put her in that. But I was scared yeah. to put her anywhere because right? I was terrified of COVID. So now that she's had both. She should be extra protected. Even that she's vaccinated on top of it all. So, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Hey, Glenn, uh, what? Um, are you anywhere near Calaveras County? Well, I live in... Uh, uh, I live up in Nevada County. I can say that. Nevada. So Calaveras Good night, is Shelley. probably like, God, I want to say t- an hour. I don't even know. It might oh, be further. It's free. I'm going to look into that London Times. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just talking to the chat. Oh, no, you're fine. They yeah, that whole green else. belt. <laughs> I just don't want to bore people. I feel like I'm keeping people up and boring you. So I was only ending it because I feel like people were going to get bored with this stream. But if you're all having fun, I'll keep kicking it on. Bexter said it's 10 a.m. where she's at, and Andrea ruined her whole day because it's 5 a.m. there. <laughs> I'm sorry for ruining your whole day. <laughs> no, you didn't. She just said her day is ruined. Ah. Uh, yeah, there was Aaron a. Aaron said Aaron's having fun, and so is Julie. Well, as long as we're all having fun, I can keep the stream going. I just want to make sure no one's bored. That includes I'm you gonna, guys. I'm going to go to bed though, because oh, I, I, like I said I get wore out quick, so I feel that way. So I just did my dishes, and I'm going to go night night. Go night night, Christian. Okay, go night night. Nice having you. Okay, nice love you. Having you. I'll love see you. Tomorrow, Roman. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Bye everybody. Bye. Well, Scott. Yeah. Now it's you and me. All righty. We can hold the fort, I think. Absolutely. I just want to make sure no one's bored and stuff like that. You know how it be. So how long have you lived in California your whole life, Scott? I don't mean if I if I ask too much, like I don't know, that's fine. Um I was born in Oregon and moved down to California before I turned one. So pretty much your whole life. And then there was like a ten year period where I didn't live in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. But I came back. (laughs) And most of that was spent in Eureka. So (laughs) Oh nice. So I know where Eureka is. Excuse me. I have dinner's coming up. <laughs> um, I know where Eureka is. My grandmother was, I believe, from Eureka. I want to say. Where my grandmother was. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, man. Oh, I'm trying to remember what area, but I know it was either my grandmother or my great grandmother was from there. Oh, boy. Not this is trouble. Who's trouble? What? What's trouble? No trouble. We can hold the fort. What, this trouble? What? Who's trouble? I don't want trouble in my chat. We're not doing trouble here. Mods, any trouble? Deduce them from the chat. I just, there's a lot of squirrels in my yard because we have a 100 foot tree in the front and an 80 foot tree in the back. So it's Uh, kind of just accept them or not. Mess, do I have your information? If not, make sure you message me so I have your information. Because yes, I would love investigators to help me investigate stuff. And yes, I will not ignore you. I'm a clover. Clover, <laughs> you are too funny to ignore. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. But um, yeah. So, were you? What'd you think of the snow that came through here? Snow. You didn't get no snow with this last storm. Oh, no, I'm at sea level. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of rain then, jerk. 
it snows in San Francisco maybe once every 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I know. But uh yeah, um yeah, we got like three feet up here. Oh my god, it was freaking crazy. Uh, it's finally all gone now. But dude, that was I haven't seen that much in a long time. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got all that in water. <laughs> Like we got some crazy rain down here. And by the way, CJ, I have so many people messaging me anymore, so I'm sorry. I, I thought I had you. I just want to make sure. Um, yeah, ever since I put my number out there, I've been getting a lot of phone calls, a lot of text, <laughs> and some trolls. It's awesome. It's awesome. But... Um, yeah, I don't really care. I ignore half of it. Uh, it's what I was expecting when I put my phone number out there, actually. Night, Andrea. You should get some rest. I didn't maybe have a little bit of a day tomorrow. Day is overrated. <clears throat> Tell me about it. I work Knox. Yeah, there's a really um like bad 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 like um serial case in Calaveras County. There is. Mhm. Mm really. I did which one? Uh Leonard Lake and Charles Ng. Leonard Lake. Mhm. Mm it makes Bundy and Dahmer look like kids stuff. Ooh, there is, and that's an older one, too. Well, kind of. I mean, well, for what it looks like, anyway. Yeah, look look at when Charles Ng was convicted. <laughs> he dicked the system around for decades. Well, that's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah. I just saw that. He was arrested in, like, 85, and he was just sentenced, like, within the last couple of years. <laughs> that's the way to do it. You could play the legal system pretty well. Well, apparently his prison has good food, too, because he got fat. <laughs> no prison does not have good food. I well, will dude say that. put on about 200 pounds in prison. Yeah, because all the food <laughs> they feed him is cardboard. <laughs> it's nothing but straight gosh. Basics on that one? Oh, there are no basics one on that time, one. One time I was sitting, I, a prisoner asked me, Hey, you want to eat with us? And I said, yeah. I was curious to what their food was like and stuff. So I ordered a tray from the mess hall. And they all looked at me weird because we had our own break room and food and shit. But anyway, so I go and sit down with them. I couldn't even eat it. I just couldn't. I tried. And I ended up giving my tray to somebody. But it was so bad. Uh, another reason, commissary would be the only thing I would eat if I went to prison. If I went to prison, I would only eat commissary. Hmm. If I could for, uh, afford it. And basics on that one. Um, one guy was a survivalist and this other guy was someone who was in the... Once they yes, made you know and, more uh, about the case than I do. I'll let you take the floor. Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> um, and uh, they had a remote cabin out in Calabarese County, and they basically turned. He kind of built like a you know fallout shelter and a whole you know basement level, which he eventually you know had converted into kind of a dungeon slash torture chamber. And then on the other side of the house, they dug a big pit. And that's where they disposed of all the bodies. And it's just, it's a very grotesque case. But, uh, yeah, the one dude is my second cousin. Really? You're related? Yes. My dad grew up with him in the same house. Oh. Wow. That's interesting. So you have a little insight of his, how he was grown up. Yeah, it wasn't, 
it was, apparently he wasn't really any different. Like it's uh, coming back from Vietnam is where my dad said he started getting a little uh, odd. And no, you can't get a lot of fruit on. No, you really can't. I don't know. I never really looked at the commissary sheet, but I don't think you can because uh, Pruno, they make their alcohol. I have never seen fruit come oh, in. Right. Fermentation. So normally how they get it is through their meal trays. Because hmm. through just their me- the their trays, sometimes they get fruit, apples, grapes, things like that. So yeah, it um, it, the fruits are really hard. They don't give them out. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, did you see that from I'm a Clover? Yeah, that was me. That was you. That was me. Uh, it was fresh in my mind because we were going through boxes and we found a couple of Christmas cards that he made for my dad when they were kids. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jelly Bear, you worked for EquiSearch, huh? That's actually really cool. Um, I wanted to get into a search and rescue team locally. I have a canine, but, I mean, she's not trained as a search canine. I wanted to. But, um, yeah, it was kind of a thing I wanted to do. Searching has always been fun. When I was a firefighter, I really enjoyed, you know, like I said, doing searches and walking through the woods and stuff. So, yeah, my firefighting days, yeah, I've been a firefighter, prison guard, uh, security guard, pet food expert. Oh, I've done a lot of careers. <laughs> I never know what I want to be. I'm very indecisive. <laughs> I just want to yeah, do everything. <laughs> I just want to do everything. Um, yeah. mm. Well, we can, we can be like... Uh, on all night, like some other streamers. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Like that, that smug thing. I actually <laughs> got an email from somebody tonight speaking about Merb. Ugh. Someone said that she had claims that she has a relative in the FBI. And we all know who how that how her claims are. And <laughs> <laughs> but she claims to have called on me. They still have and, to stick the protocol. <laughs> so first off, I don't believe it because no, unless. So let's just. She always seems to know somebody, doesn't she? Oh yeah. <laughs> when is the new Merb? <laughs> that would be awesome to be <laughs> competing with her stream. Um, Ooh. but, uh, anyway, yeah, if, if she had a relative in the f- bureau who she asked to investigate me, <laughs> I don't think they can do that. <laughs> they can't just do that first like, off. No, they work for the, you, you know, us, they do. Cause we're the tax paying citizens. But they don't, you don't just call up an FBI agent and go, Hey, can you investigate this for me? Okay. Yeah. That's just not how well, it works. They have a list that they have. Go- <laughs> That's just not how it works. So, that, I don't think the FBI is going to investigate a glitter bomb. I think they uh, got bigger things to deal with. I mean, whoever called me that one day, my kind of has a point. I will say that. Um, you know, the mail. Anything with the mail is a federal crime. I'll give her that. But I really don't think a glitter bomb counts. And she didn't even open it anyway, so. <laughs> it won't cause physical harm. Nope. To you. Um, it, it, if anything, it would be a civil case if you like it killed her turtle, like she claimed. Well, if she opens it and shakes it on top of the turtle thing, yeah. Well, I mean, if it explodes next to the turtle tank because she sat mm-hmm. it next to the turtle tank, I mean, there could There's be no... an argument for a civil case. 
but the FBI is also not going to investigate something on hearsay with no proof either. Oh, I think this person did this. Like, <laughs> you know that for sure? No, I have no clue actually. And you know, it's, they're not going to they're not going to investigate that. Are you kidding me? No, they, they deal with facts. Like it, exactly, they don't they don't investigate based on one person calling in, and especially. First off, I didn't send the glitter bomb. I'm just going to say that right now again, just so everyone can get that out of their head. Do I think it's a funny idea? Yes. Did I? No. Um, I wish I would have thought about it. Um, Other than that, no, I didn't, and I wouldn't give a shit too. But I did, like I said, I did think about it, of sending her a box of shit. But I didn't. I was talked out of it, and probably best I did. Yeah, because she's, you know, so, or kind of. <laughs> it's funny, this website that I went to go find this off of, you can literally pay in cash so they can't track you. Hmm. <laughs> so there's no trace. I oh, came very close. I came very close. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I came very close, okay? Yeah. <sighs> oh. But uh, I'm getting really like cocky. Lately. She is, and like, I'm today was really bad. <laughs> I don't pay attention to her too much, but they got this whole thing with my name, and I love it. I, if they keep saying my name, that's just giving me screen mm-hmm. time without me yeah. being in there. That's free. That's free money, or not free money, but free advertisement for my channel. Um, and I kind of just flip through it and look for anything interesting. Like, <laughs> keep doing it, please. Keep doing it. Uh, same with the rest of them. Talk as much crap as you want about me. I don't care. I, 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 as it says in my about me, the people who know the truth are the ones that matter to me. And that's, <laughs> you may grab the tick turtle. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> um, I, I, <laughs> the stuff she says and her. I I could do a true crime just like her. Anyone can do a true crime just like her. You just grab just your local newspaper. Person. Read the local newspaper and go, yep, uh, so-and-so was popped for so-and-so. Everyone's still there? It went really quiet. Um, So, yeah. Well, I'm joining the uh, Make a Obnoxious Videos team, so. Oh, it's, cool. It's research. <laughs> Um, she just needs to, to be honest, if she was just stick with her true crime and crafting, she'd Mm -hmm. probably be way more successful than with the hate. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people who are into that kind of niche of crafting and there's no problem with crafting. Some of the stuff, the only reason I make fun of her crafting is because she, she makes fun of us or me mm-hmm. or all of us. Me. Oh no, I did too. Because uh, <laughs> you know, if she they... wouldn't, if she wouldn't bring me up, then that wouldn't make her fair game. You know, she today she said that whole thing about how people talk about her because they wish they were there. I'm like, no, that no, no. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> 42 year old gay man hanging out with a bunch of menopausal uh, women doing crafts is not my scene. Thanks. <laughs> um, hanging out with a bunch of women doing, cr- there's nothing hang- wrong with hanging out with a bunch of women, but hanging out with a bunch of women doing crafts is not for me. I don't I like to see- gossipy women. <laughs> uh, I don't want to accuse, but you know, they're definitely got something going on. Um, you know, Oh, but then, but then you know, I had to end it by saying, you know, and your crafts are below my skill level anyway. And one <laughs> other thing I do want to touch on because I've heard rumor that Case is gonna try to sue me for slanderous statements when I stated my opinion on my channel. Case, well, yeah, so go ahead and try, but just remember you started it <laughs> and I'm on my channel. So if you don't like what you hear and I didn't say your legal name, so unless your legal name is case, I didn't say your legal name. So I, what do I, what do you have on me? 
Yeah, you know, to sue for that, you have to be able to actually prove that it damaged your reputation. Right. And I mean, I, I never, I don't even know her real name. So regardless if I did, I wouldn't say that because I'm not that stupid. And what I did was I commented on how I didn't like how slow she talked. And I gave my opinion as to why. Um, and I, whether it's true or not, this channel is based on my opinion. Um, a lot of this channel is my opinion. Um, so, yeah. Actually, if you read the about me, it's all about our opinions. Whoever I bring up on panel, whoever I talk to, talk about, chat. It's all of our opinions. Um, yeah. And it's Editorial. not stated as fact. I am not stating anything here as fact unless I say, hey, this is fact. Um, she has a reputation. <laughs> yeah. According to her, she does. And, you know, maybe she does. Maybe she, you know, was a nurse. I think she said she said this on her own channel. So I'm not doxing her. Um, um, so if she did have a career, sure, that could be an issue. But again, I didn't say her name and I didn't say any place she worked at. And I didn't even say her career. That's on her for outing herself. So I just wanted to cover that because I know Case is listening and does listen or Siren does and does share information. So either way, hi, Case. I see you. Doesn't bother me. I hear you. And I ain't going anywhere. So that's all I got to say about that. But yes, uh, she, she's irrelevant to me. Really, I had no problem with her until she brought me up. And I wasn't even going to ever bring... If you notice, I don't bring people up unless they bring me up. Yep. So Merb started it. That's why I started my channel and because of her, Merb. And then Siren's issue and Case talking about it was, yes, a while ago, but I just made my point. Kept emailing me as her twice. Star. Oh, she's never actually reached out to me personally. So that's another thing. Why well, I won't. She can make it. I don't watch her channel. I hear things in the grapevine. And so until she reaches out to me personally, I, I don't retract my statement and I stick with it. And I'm going to keep doing what I do because she's nobody. No one. And if she wants to go across state lines and sue me, because you're going to have to go to court in my jurisdiction because you're suing me in my state. Because you said she talks slow. <laughs> That's a lot of money for you. And then if you, so go right ahead. If you want to spend all that money to lose a case because it's YouTube, <laughs> fucking more power to you, chicka. Uh, but. And you know what? And as much as I say all this negative stuff about all these channels, I, I think I've said this before. I just want them all to, you know, to just lay off of the drama and picking on a, one group of us. Yeah. Lay off. That's all I want is that. And then whatever they do from there, that's on them. Um, the one I want, though. She is. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, I wouldn't talk about half of these people if they didn't talk about me first. Oh, I would love to not have the word Merb in my vocabulary at all. That's well, <laughs> I don't call her M E R B. I call her M R B and I've called her that forever because <laughs> it's just funny. Merb and she hates it. M E R B. Uh, oh, she turned that into a, yeah, a well, uh, uh, her product. I upgraded which, her because she keeps, you know, constantly i'm italian i'm italian so i've upgraded her to uh, mama mussolini <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is mussolini had more energy than she did well yeah but <laughs> it seems fitting for you know the crowd and dictator <laughs> uh, at least he could entertain True. uh to a certain group of people. I mean, I guess she does too, but damn. But really? She's just a really? It's a work. Like, uh, it's, she's just too much. And she's, so, the spreadsheets, 
the spreadsheet. Is that necessary? It's YouTube. If you don't like what people say, get off. And like in yesterday's video, she's sitting there going off about how she questioned my education and she doesn't know anything about me to judge my education. And then later on, she's calling all of us stupid. It's like, well... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I like Jilly Bear what she's done. I, I'm I'm really down with that. Oh man. I mean, my yeah. other nickname for her was Serial Mom. <laughs> Serial. So Mer Merb or whoever's listening in her group. Can you ask, I just got one question? Why do you say my name three times in a row? Spelt wrong. I, I, I'm just curious because I want to know if it's because of that Starbucks commercial that I played the other day. If so, that's funny because I did. I was talking about that when that came out, and that was my theme song for that year. Well, I'm a clover. Like I said, I'm just I'm. It's a uh, research. That's the only reason I started. And believe me, it's hard. <laughs> I I don't watch. <laughs> Unless I, I hear I through it and hope up. I find something is what I Unless, do. <laughs> when I hear that I'm brought up is when I listen because I got to know what they say and and I don't do it all the time, but I do it enough that I know when they're talking about me and I know what they say and they're wrong like half of the time. And it was funny that uh, Kim and Crafton actually went off on me for like a good half hour. <laughs> So I got them to talk about me for a half an hour, which in my book is a win. Yeah, they they didn't talk about the community. They talk. I don't mind being talked shit about. Like that's just. Me. I don't care either. Huh? I've been called. You you can't. I, I say this, you know, and I mean it. You cannot say something and hurt me. I've been in an abusive relationships. Mm-hmm. I've been in a prison. I am now a security guard. There is nothing you can say that I haven't heard. I've been called rent a cop. I've been called a wannabe cop. I've been called a loser, a bitch. A, I, just, I could just name it. Yeah. And, and honestly, I find the ones that are the best make me laugh. So <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I grew up, you know, gay, you, so that's already a lot there. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clover. That's priceless. Oh, no. I would not want to fall asleep with that voice. Oh, God. I have nightmares. Mm. I would have nightmares. And I'm still muted in her chat. Every time I go in there, I at least drop something to just be like, (laughs) can you hear me? And and, and She muted me. But, you know, good for her. And her daughter-in-law who grabs her son's boobs. That's cool. Mm. Oh, she deleted that comment. Yeah, that's right. So I'll say it on my channel. <laughs> your daughter-in-law was grabbing your son's boobs in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, my last relationship was, you know, narcissistic sociopath. And oddly enough, I see a lot of similarities. <laughs> Wait, so I'm a clover. There's a picture on her community tab of her son's proposal or engagement or whatever and she's holding him from behind and her hands are straight on his chesticles so i i just call him what i see and that's his boobs that's he's in my again my opinion though that he has boobs now i could be wrong but i don't know so he could just have chesticles. Mm-hmm. I got to go look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, that's why I, I never go on when she's live. I, like, I will wait for that to end and then I will get in there. <laughs> and I'm sorry you've had to go through that, CJ. Um, Still. I, I know a couple of, of people in some of my professions that have had some stuff said about their weight and it's rough and I know what they go through. And I mean, I don't know what they go through, but they tell me and I'm sorry, you know, it, it, 
I'm skinny I, I, by the grace of God. I don't know why I eat so much food, but um, uh, so I don't know where you know people get that. It's just wrong with, to talk about people's weight because you don't know what's causing it, and that's one thing I never really go off of. I mean, if you've heard me, I haven't really said anything about anyone's weight as far as because it's just not appropriate. Um, people's looks that's I could shoot at that all day. Um, not my fault you were born with an ugly stick beat to your face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> you are now forced to see it how I see it. She is grabbing his boobies. Like her, her the way her hand placement is is like a boob grab. That that's just how I see it. Okay, so what's um, everyone think? Uh lesbian rumor. Do we think uh Merb sourced or oh I question God, it. You're my you're you're my guest tonight. We're gonna play a game. Okay. With you. So you got it's Mary Fuck Kill. I, I was I was like, oh god. So <laughs> you got Merb, uh Cooter, I that's two Cooter, and hmm, and and you know what? Kim and Crafton. I'm gonna get them all three. I want to hear Mary Fuck Kill. You're up. I don't even <laughs> I've never actually seen Kim or Crafton. So. Oh, good. Don't. He just chain. He's a chain smoking, basement dwelling bus driver, virtual bus driver. So don't worry about him. So we'll like just a gamer. Mark. No, not no. even gamer. <laughs> he's a. He's another one of the trolls. Oh so, um, Merb. Bye bye. Um, <laughs> Merb. Bye bye. Zero use for you. Uh. I guess then Cooter, Mary I mean, at that age at least I'll have plenty of free time because he'll be in bed before sundown so oh, oh. boom then, bomb is dropped no this is what I'm normally like I have a, I use a lot of restraint <laughs> <laughs> and then out of plausible denial because I don't know Kim or Crafton whatsoever I'm going to have to go the fuck on them because I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Whew, well, I'll give you credit for that because <laughs> I'd have to wear a fucking blindfold for them to. But yeah. uh, the stench, the stench. I just, I, when I see them, I picture, or I hear them, I guess. I've seen them only a few times on stream. I just picture a musty basement, sweaty smell. That's what they, that's their aura. Ah. Basement sweat cigarette smell and i'm a cigarette smoker and I, i'll say it I, I smoke cigarettes so i'm not trying to crap them on that but damn dog I, that's I just what i picture <laughs> uh yeah amen jelly bear amen to that oh i know they do I, and that's probably why i get the sweaty musty stinky yeah. smoky aura Sweat aura. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, I do have to get off here tonight because I got some other shit to take care of before I go to work tomorrow. Okay. So this time I'm really going to end it, Scott. But I do right. appreciate having you up. Uh, we oh, will be doing this. Hey, dude. Yeah, you're, you're hella chill. Uh, so if you all would, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever did. way you would like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so oh, yeah, the YouTube that. can see that I'm kind of cool. And <laughs> then also don't forget to leave some comments because I think that also helps with the algorithm. And don't forget to hit the bell icon because when I go live, YouTube wants to work sometimes and let you know. So <laughs> good night, Animal Clover. Go take care of the kids. I'm, I uh, I had fun with all of you in my chat. Um, yeah, it was fine. Let's keep this going. Yeah, uh, we'll do this again when uh, we, I'm going to definitely never stream when Tasha stream. And that's kind of a personal thing I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. But uh, if she's not like California a, side, I know California side, she's in bed. 
she, no, she's got old ladies. She go to bed early mm -hmm. just because of the time zone. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a hit on her. That was a joke. Anyway, uh, I love everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming in, and I will see you next time. All right. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye.